So, you know, honestly, like, we're pretty glad that Team Liquid chose us because C9 was looking, you know, on an extremely hot streak. So, um, you know, we probably were, m were more scared of C9 than TL anyways. Albert here with Esports Heaven. Here with Cody Sun after a 3-0 victory against FlyQuest, shutting them out of world's contention and putting them in a best of five next week, semifinals here at the NALCS studio to make sure that they get to worlds, they get to the finals, and Cody can see the world stage yet again. How does it feel to take him down in a 3-0 fashion? People had it as a you know 3-1, 3-2, but had you winning. How does it feel to, you know, make it right and come one step closer to getting back to Worlds? Um, yeah, going into today's match, uh, I think everyone in our team were pretty confident and, you know, we knew that last time uh, when we played against them, it was, the game was like really difficult because of our like tragic early game, but we still managed to crawl back. So we kind of went into it like thinking that, you know, even if the worst case happens, we can still win and and that just gave us a really big confidence boost so that if we do have a really good early game, then we can just, you know, take it home pretty easily. All right. So after having, you know, two great clean games in the first two, coming out to pretty good leads going into mid game, that game three, you guys fell behind a fair bit. They had a 1-3-1 one one comp that they did screw up a fair amount of times, but you were able to expose their weaknesses and just take advantage and close it out in a 3-0. What were the comms like and what was the feeling like going into the mid game of that game of three? Um, so yeah, we knew, or in the draft, we knew um, that they had a 1-3-1 comm, so they probably had a better um, any more easily executable early game. And we had a 5-5 comm, so we were confident that, you know, if it does go to late game, then we can always win and always come back. So our comms were kind of like trying to um, stop like the bleeding from the early game and then try to find you know catches or windows to force 5v5s five and then just uh, you know play play the 5v5 five five game. All right so that leads up to next week you're playing against Team Liquid Ryu is looking a lot better than you know people have him in stock coming into today people were thinking Ryu would be underwhelming and he's been stomping with high damage numbers on every single game two on rise one on cassiopeia how do you match up against team liquid now that you're against them and it's been one and eight or so against them the entire year um i mean traditionally yeah we have a pretty you know poor record against team liquid but i think for us coming um into the match this time we obviously we changed our junglers so um, we have a very different jungle playstyle and the team playstyle as a whole. So I think that, you know, we're not too worried going into the match. And, you know, either TL or C9, both teams were looking extremely strong. So it would have been a hard match regardless, like, who we who we played against. Um, so, you know, honestly, like, we're pretty glad that Team Liquid chose us because C9 was looking, you know, on an extremely hot streak. So... Um, you know, we probably were, m were more scared of C9 than TL anyways, so it's whatever. Um, but I think that, yeah, just with our whole, like, different team dynamic, we're going to come into this match um, as strong as we can, and we're mostly going to focus on ourselves because, you know, we don't really care which team we're up against. We're just going to play our game and, you know, try our best. All right. So you spoke about playing with Onda now instead of Meteos, different jungle play style for the most part. How does it feel like playing with someone that's more of a rookie and although you've been on a team with him in the past in Immortals, going into a pretty big match that might be his biggest that he's ever played in yet to date? I mean, you know, knowing, and knowing Andy and um, him, he's pretty like, he doesn't really tilt or really get pressured that much even in high stakes matches. So. You know, even though it's his first playoffs, I think he's he played pretty well uh, today, and he doesn't seem like that pressured at all. I mean, he doesn't even have a history playing against TL, so it's not like he's like scared of them from whatever, right? Yeah. So I do think that him like being a fresher player compared to a more traditional like jungler like Medios, 
he brings in he or he brings in a lot of unique and different perspectives because he also he also like pays very close attention to like Korean junglers and their pathing and play styles or whatever. So, you know, it, we, we kind of just have like a more unique perspective in, in the jungle uh, matchup and, you know, we'll see what happens, right? But it's going to be very different than, you know, a more traditional jungler like Meteos who, who's played like, you know, for years and years. All right. So I actually want to take a step back and look at um, the coaching and it's, <laughs> and and its effect on you know Hunter Thieves as a whole probably in his history on H2K has always played place I think top five or top three. You're with him this year, top three, both times that you're playing in these splits. Top two, oh, top two first, but not this split yet. Mm -hmm. You're third place, but close. Um, how does it feel having him? He's a veteran player, veteran coach. What impact does he bring to the team and to your play styles? I think probably is a very important like figure in the team. Yeah, mostly because of his, you know, wealth of experience and I think he just he doesn't really, you know, get pressured either. So he always drafts at a pretty standard and high level um, and brings in that like calm demeanor for our team. And you know, we also have so many different like veteran players like Ryu, Sunday and Afro, so um most most of the time, like we do perform well under pressure, so you know I'm excited to play against TL again, and you know we're gonna give our our best this week of practice, and we're gonna give it our best shot next week. In All right, game. sounds good. And I want to wrap things up a little bit. I want to hear some shade. I want to hear some you know biting words, if you have any. I don't know. Some players do, some players don't, and shit talk goes far away, especially against double lift. Do you have anything that you'd say? against him, their team, anything like that? Um, no, not really. Like, I don't care, you know, whichever team I play against. Um, right now, I'm just very focused on myself and my own play. Mm -hmm. So, like, C C C9, TL, you know, even if a Korean team, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to play my game, play my pool, and uh, I trust my team in, like, doing their jobs. I trust everyone, so and they trust me to carry, so. All right. So, after a crazy weekend, TSM getting out, now you have 100 Thieves getting out. Who knows if we see TSM in the finals, but the last question, do you think you'd be able to meet C9 or TSM in the finals, and which one do you think you're going to meet if you do make it? Um, honestly, I think both teams are very strong. Um, TSM, you know, last, last playoffs they didn't really um, do as well as they wanted to so they're coming in pretty hot this this playoffs and C9 has rookies but they've been also looking really hot in LCS as well so I think it really depends on if uh, I mean we'll see if Blabber and Zayza you know plays well under pressure but if they do then we're probably gonna play against C9 but if um, they don't perform that well under pressure you know it's probably gonna be TSM. All right sounds good and to close things out uh, any words to say before your playoff match, whether it's your fans, from Nate Shot and the team for supporting you guys for so long, anything like that? Um, I guess, you know, thank you to everyone supporting us. Uh, 100 Thieves is still a pretty, like, new organization, and I'm still a fairly new player in LCS. You know, this is going to be my second year, and um, both times that I was in playoffs, I made it to the finals, and then, you know, I wasn't able to take it, so this time... You know, hopefully we're, I'm able to make finals again with my team and um, we're going to try our best to try to take it home and, you know, bring trophy back to 100 Thieves. All right. It sounds good. Hopefully for that trophy. Now, this is Albert and Cody Sun signing out. See you next week in semis. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that Esports Heaven video. Unfortunately, Albert had to go home. His flight was already scheduled, so he's gone. He couldn't stay. Uh, so I'm doing the outro. You should... Go ahead and actually follow me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Parqueso Media. You can follow the Shot Caller. Uh, I've got some really good interviews there, probably better than Albert's. So. Um. No, but seriously, watch this shit. I'm, I'm gone. It costs me too much, and I don't have a Patreon or Double Lift interviews anymore. So, watch this shit.